guys uh, welcome to tech design i hope uh, you are enjoying all of my videos so at the end of this video i will uh, leave a link for a playlist for, for a sheet metal workbench so you can go to that playlist and you can find out all the tutorials so in this tutorial i'm just going to explain you how the dimple works the dimple is uh, uh, one kind of a punch so you can see here punches so we have a different kind of uh, punches here i'm just going to ex explain you each and every one so first we will take a dimple so as you can see here this is a simple model that i have created in order to show you how this dimple works so straight away we can uh, go to dimple uh, command so as soon as we select a dimple command uh, you can see here we need to select a section curve so this section curve should be always closed in uh, dimple so you should have to close it either it is a circle or it is a rectangle or it is a square it should be you know closed so in order to uh, select a curve in, instead of selecting a curve i'll just go to sketcher environment so once you select a face it will take you to sketcher environment so this is my sketcher environment and then i'll close this profile and let us select a rectangle okay so i'm just going to create a rectangle so you can see here sketch needs four constraints so i'm just going to constrain there press d for dimensioning Okay, so this dimension I will give as uh, 80 okay and this dimension let me give as uh, 40 okay now now okay let me reduce it to 50 okay so now we need uh, one more dimension that is the distance from uh, this one so let us hit D and from this end point to uh, this line let me give it as uh, 5 mm in the same way uh, from this to this i'll give as 15. okay now you can see sketch is fully constrained if you want you can constrain it uh, i'm just showing you how we can constrain this sketch so let us finish the sketch so as soon as you finish the sketch you can see the preview of uh, uh, you know a dimple that is developed so we have a different different options over here i'm just going to tell you what are the difference mm, you can see the depth depth is very simple whatever the depth you want you can just give it and we have a side angle side angle is nothing but a draft kind of thing so suppose if you do two two as a uh, draft so it will take a draft now as you can see here this face is uh, uh, with an angle of uh, 5 so if you increase it to 45 you will come to know the difference so let me keep it as 0 and we have a depth reference uh, so depth reference is same as what we have discussed in uh, uh, flanges so in the flanges is it, it is a length difference uh, sorry length reference so in this case it is a depth reference so these two are works in the same way as we discussed already so if you haven't seen that video please go to my playlist and check it out and side walls as you can see here we have a material inside and material outside so this is also will be same as uh, same as what we have discussed in uh, a flange uh, called as inset so we have an inset option inside the flange so that is same as what we have discussed here so material inside will take uh, the dimension from the material inside if uh, material outside then the material will be outside and the dimension will be taken inside okay then we have a rounding here so roundings are nothing but these edge bends so if you don't want then you can just uh, deactivate it so always this should be given and we can we have a punch uh, you know uh, radius so punch radius is nothing but this radius so inside if you see if you see so this is the radius suppose if i give one mm so as you can see here this is reducing so this is the punch radius the outside will be uh, calculated uh, by adding in thickness of the uh, material so if we are giving 2 mm here and we have a thickness of 3 mm sheet metal then the outer radius will be 5 mm so in the same way we have a die radius die radius is nothing but uh, this radius so in the same way uh, inside also it will take uh, by adding in the thickness so these are the two different uh, you know die radiuses and uh, punch radius and we have a round section corners here so we can see the vertical corners so those corners uh, um, it was asking about so if you want you can just change it to the value you want and we have a you know minimum tool clearance 
so which is nothing but uh, it, if the face of the dimple punch is uh, within the minimum tool uh, reference then it will show you the you know um, error so depending on that you can just um, you know mention this so this is uh, all about a uh, dimple guys how this works uh, if, if you have any concern if you have any doubts you can just uh, comment in the section uh, below so that i can able to answer you thank you guys